So here we finally have the video that I've been talking about. That is how to determine enlargement, which basically means how to find the center of the enlargement and how to determine the scale factor. So as you know, enlargement is defined by two things. One is the center and number two is the center of enlargement. Okay. So here we have a question. Let's read what the question says. It says, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle P onto triangle S. Now a question like this, you can expect to be of two to three marks. Okay. Now let's say it's three marks. So here, yes, I know that we're doing enlargement, so it's definitely going to be enlargement, but uh, this is a past paper question. So that means you have to first determine what transformation it is. So the only transformation where the size changes is enlargement. Okay, so when you write that, that gets you one mark. But as soon as you write enlargement, now you got to write whatever enlargement is defined by. And enlargement, as we know, is defined by two things. One is the center. And the other is the scale factor. Now, scale factor is something that we can find out immediately. Okay, what's the scale factor? It is the image length. I'll write it down over here. That scale factor is equals to image length. Although I've written this before also. But in any case, I'll write it down over here. Image length over the object's length. Okay, so if you take your height of the triangle, that means S, by the way, is the image. And P, by the way, is the, or is the object. So the height of the image is three units and the height of the object is one unit. So what's three upon one? That's equal to three. So that means we have our scale factor, okay? Now, how do we find out the center of enlargement, okay? So just remember uh, two things, okay? And that is you join P and P prime, okay? In fact, you know what? Let's call it A and A prime because P I just saw has already been used. Okay, now what exactly is A and A prime? A and A prime basically suggests that you take one object and its corresponding image, and not only do you join it, in fact, you join it and extend it. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to join A and A prime and extend it. Okay, why am I doing this? You'll find out in a minute. The next thing you do is you join, yep, you probably guessed it, B and B prime. And not only you do that, you also extend it. Okay, so let's do just that. And if you're wondering what's B or B prime, so we can call this B. If we call this B, then this naturally becomes B prime. So we join this and we extend it. And you can probably see where this is going. If you want, okay, if you want to be further sure, you can do this for the third and the final point. Okay. And now you can definitely see where this is going. So the third and the final step is that the point of intersection, the point of intersection is what? Yep, you guessed it again, is the center of enlargement. And what is this point? This point has coordinates what? Minus three comma two, there you go. So we write down the missing piece of the puzzle and that's minus three comma two and that gets you three marks, hopefully. Okay, so that was one example. Here's another example. And this is a past paper question. The previous one was also a past paper question, but I just don't remember from where. Uh, this is from October, November 2019, paper two, variant two, GCE, by the way. Okay, so here, now there's one thing that you should, whenever you come across a question like this, you should watch out for. Again, okay? you should keep reminding yourself. That is, yes, this is enlargement. There's no denying that. The only in transformation where the size changes, A, by the way, is the object, C is the image. And as I, was, as I was saying, the only transformation where the size changes is enlargement, okay? So enlargement, and we will find out the center, but when you're writing down the scale factor, I'll tell you how to not do this question. I'll tell you how, what can go wrong with, in this question. So if you look at it, if let's say you take this length, you can see that this is three units, okay? You can sort of call it the base. Let's not call it the base, but yeah. You can call it the height of the trapezium, by the way. So you can say that this is the height of the trapezium of the um, image, and this is the height of the trapezium of the object, okay? So you can see that the scale factor is going to be three, which is the image length over one, which is three. Now that's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because you can see that the image has flipped, so that means not only is the scale factor three, but it's actually minus three, okay? So you gotta make sure you watch out for that. And there's no, there's no, 
way through calculation that you will be able to determine this. There is actually, but it's best to just have a good look at the object and the image and see if the image has flipped and then just tell, remind yourself or make a mental note that whatever scale factor turns out to be, you're gonna put a minus sign next to it. Okay, over here, if you go back, you can see that the image wasn't rotated. So that's why the scale factor was positive. Here, since the image has rotated, that means the scale factor has to be negative. And this will further make sense when we find out the center, you'll realize that the image and the object are basically on the opposite sides of the center. So how do you find out the center? I'm not gonna write down the step-by-step -step procedure as I did earlier, okay? But what I will tell you is that if this is the object, this right here is the image. So we join these two points and you can extend it if you want, but sort of if you think ahead a little, you can sort of tell that the center is going to be in between, okay? So there's no point in extending these two lines, okay? Now let's find out another object and image, okay? So this is an object here and the corresponding image is has to be over here. There you go. Now we join them. And when you do that, it turns out that the center is right here. There you go. Okay, now we look for another object and image. So this looks like a, like a good object, okay? And the corresponding image has to be this point right here. There you go. Okay, if you're unsure of, if you're, if you're not too sure of the point that you've taken, if you're, if you're let's say, uh, indecisive about the image is going to be, whether it's going to be this or this, then what you do is you completely ditch this point and you take another point, okay? Now here's, uh, here's a point. And here is its corresponding image. Let me let me do this with a different color. Let's do it with the color green. So here you can see is the object and the image definitely has to be here. So we make a mark over here. And now we join these two points with the help of a straight line. And when we do that, we have exactly what we were looking for. That's the center and the center has coordinates what? The center has coordinates minus three comma two. So center minus three comma two. And like I said, you can actually see that this is a three mark question. So now it makes sense to you hopefully why it's a three mark question. One mark for writing down the transformation, one mark for the scale factor and one mark for the center. So anyway, that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys have understood this concept. In the next video, I will just do a whole summary of uh, enlargement, okay? And then congratulations, by the way, we're done with all the concepts. The only concept that we are left with is actually transformation matrices. So we'll do that in one video, inshallah. And then that's it, we will be done. We'll do a stretch of fast paper questions and then we will be 100% done, okay? So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye.